and welcome back to the Arctic Flying Expo 2023. This is episode 15. Uh, we've just took off from Sawalki after a nice night in the clubhouse. Uh, we were made very welcome. Um, lovely place, well recommended. We've got a short flight for a start. We're off to Kikiti. Uh, it's about 89 miles and should take us about an hour and 20. Um, the weather at the moment is fairly calm, especially above the clouds. We're climbed up above the clouds. Uh, it's an easier ride up here. And uh, it's looking like a, further in the journey as we're heading west. Later on, the sky's going to bubble up to thunderstorms. Uh, it could get quite nasty, but we'll see how far we can get before all that lot kicks in. So just arriving overhead at Kikiti, uh, it looks like a nice grass strip, uh, we'll get down on the ground and uh, hopefully we can get some fuel, it is showing that fuel's available, although we've not come far and we were full when we left, but we do aim to try and pick fuel up wherever we can, uh, and also uh, it's showing a bit of a restaurant so we can get some breakfast. Here we are on the ground at Kikiti. They sold fuel uh, by the barrel here, and we hadn't got room in the tanks to take the whole barrel. So we decided uh, on this occasion not to bother with the fuel. Instead, we topped the tanks up from our own cans that we carry on the back. Uh, we'd got plenty to get to the next destination. Um, we then got the stoves out. We made ourselves something to eat and a drink. We chilled for a bit. And then we got back on route. We're heading for Smiloo. And here's our route. It's fairly direct. Uh, there's a lot of red lines. They're military corridors. And there's a bit of airspace to negotiate. But we're going to be flying up high above the clouds where the air is smooth. And we're going to go straight over the top of most of it.
there we go, Dave's away ahead of me. That's another airfield in the logbook. We're clocking a few up now. So uh, let's get up above these clouds where the air's smooth. Uh, it's not looking good for later on. It's supposed to be thunderstorms kicking off uh, as we get towards late afternoon. So we're going to try and crack some miles on now and sort of try and get to Samiloo and get back on the ground and refuel before all the weather kicks in. So we're just arriving overhead at Miloo and as you can see in the distance we've got a right nasty thunderstorm just ahead of us uh, and in fact they're, they're all the way across so you're looking from one side to the other. Uh, there's big thunderstorms going on with nice bright bits of sky in between. Uh, but the idea is to get on the ground, get fueled up and get back in the air as quick as we can so that we've got a chance of working around these storms. This place is amazing. It's got what appears to be a brand new block paved runway. Everywhere's block paved, it's all in good nick. And then the fuel bowser is just awesome. It's the poshest fuel bowser we have ever filled up at. Absolutely awesome. We're going to sit here for a while and uh, wait this out.
Well, we can't sit here all day. Um, there's big gaps of bright sunshine in between the thunderstorms uh, and they look far enough apart for us to get through safely. Uh, so we're going to get back in the air uh, and crack some miles on. But, uh, whether we get to the destination we're heading for, I'm not sure. But there's plenty of airfields around to divert to if we should need to. see in front uh, the sky is pretty black there's a bright piece uh, sort of at the 11 o'clock there as we're looking at the picture but um, we're stuck up at 2,000 feet uh, as we're going over some military corridors so we can't drop below that and we keep seeing bolts of lightning that are striking in the distance so it's not looking good um we've got to we've got to look at other options now Okay, so we've decided to sort of do a 90 degree left and turn away from these thunderstorms uh, and get away from this bit of airspace. We feel quite vulnerable up here at 2,000 feet with the lightning uh, kicking off around us. So um, we're heading down to an airfield called Obaniki. Uh, we're just coming overhead now and we'll get on the ground and figure out what we're going to do from here. Well, we're safely on the ground. We did make uh, some sort of radio contact and they did realise that we were trying to come in and uh, they moved a tractor out of the way and uh, see what sort of reception we get.
Just had a phone call, Dave. Have you had one? No, not yet. Uh, obviously, I couldn't answer it. I was just, just like throwing it, touching down. Yeah. Just call and cancel our flight plans because we're. Mija! I'm just calling. Mija! Chodź do tłumaczenia! Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Germany, we have some a safety place for uh, your uh, Yeah, if we yes. could put them somewhere sheltered, that would be fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's go to Let me get out of here. I'm coming. Thank you very much. Okay, did you hot chip? So here we are. We have landed at this airfield, uh, Obaniki in Poland, and to say we fell on our feet would be an understatement. They are so friendly. They have made space for us in their hangars. Brilliant. And they have invited us to the birthday party. So look where we've ended up. Um, we did a diversion because of the rain with thunderstorms and lightning in front of us. And then we, uh, we diverted into this little field and we're at a birthday party. And they've plied us with food and whiskey and we're stopping here the night. So how good's that? 